Hello, my name's Stephen Carr, and I'd like to welcome you to another Photoshop cooking class. In this cooking class, we're working on our uh, project logo. Um, I've made the logo 7x14x300 by by resolution. Um, it's a little bit bigger than uh, I'll probably be using it. I'll probably be using it about 35 by 2 but I want the larger resolution so that I can keep it nice and sharp, so when I scale it down, everything will look kind of really nice and crisp. So we have this set up, and uh, what I've done is I've gone on the internet and I've uh, found some logos that I like ideas of, I've got some ideas from, so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to place one of those logos. So I kind of like this one here, it's kind of cool because it's got this kind of a, this kind of grassy effect. So I kind of like to do maybe that. I think that would be kind of cool because that's kind of a, you know, I can sort of getting back to nature type idea. So I've got this shape here. So what I want to do is I want to try to duplicate this shape. It's a little bit hard to do if I magic wand any of this stuff. It's really hard to select it. Uh, it just doesn't give me a smooth shape because this is kind of it's off the internet, so it's not very good. So I'm just going to deselect that. Control D. And uh, with my uh, ellipse tool, that's underneath your rectangle box if you can't find it. Uh, with the ellipse tool, I'm just going to create an ellipse here. And just, just trying to get this shape. I need to create this shape. and I'm just using this as a template kind of to follow. So I have it set here. Control T for transform. Just going to orbit it. Free transform it. And I can move it into position here. And just trying to get it to be a little bit like that shape here. So again, moving it. So once I get it close, that's probably close enough, I guess. I'll try a little bit, squeeze it that way a bit. Doesn't have to be perfect because it probably won't be perfect in the end anyway. So uh, I've got that set up, so I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to do another one. And I'm just going to change the color here, make it a little bit lighter so that it's easier to work with. Free transform, control T, so I'm orbit, or rotate I mean. Come in here, and so it's a little bit, need to make it a little bit uh, thinner. Move it down a bit, move and rotate a little more. Move it over. I'll just, just slip it up a little bit. So we're sort of getting the right ID here, I think. And it's not going to be exactly perfect to this, but you know what? I like that. That's good enough. It looks really cool. So I'm just going to use that shape right now. So I've got these two shapes here. Um, what I'm going to do is subtract this shape from this shape, and that will give me my little uh, grass blade. So I'll use my magic wand. Uh, if you can't find it, it should be under your quick select tool. Uh, I've got to rasterize this first. Rasterize, rasterize this one as well. Go back up into here, select this, go down into here, and I'll turn that one off. And I should be able to delete this. And there's my gr blade of grass that I want to work with, so that's kind of cool. So I can uh, Control D for deselect, and go into here, and now I just put that in the garbage can, because I won't need that. So now I have my first shape, and it's not bad, it's good enough, I'm happy with it. It's mine, I did it. So now I will uh, copy this layer, duplicate this layer. I'm going to do it five times. One, two, three, four, five times. So this one here, um, I'm going to make that this guy this one. So I'm just going to uh, use my transform again. And I'm just going to work it the other way, which is fine. A little bit more. And then um, 
just move that over. And I can see I've got a little bit of a piece of nuisance here, so I'll just get rid of that. Uh, go to my next shape, and I'll just move. i got to erase that little bit in there, in that shape. Move this one to here. Click on this shape. Move it to here. Click on this shape. Move it to here. So um, just a little bit of cleaning up to do here. See just little remnants that didn't get deleted. Okay, so that's got those cleaned out pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, I'll start with shape one, and that's okay. I'm not sure why my shape one's not working correctly here, but I'll just start with this. This one, and I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So I will just magic wand it. And it grabbed that one. Okay, I thought it did that shape. There we go. So I'll just change my color here to make it a little bit lighter. And use my paint bucket. And so now I've got that one set up lighter. Control D for deselect. Also, I'm just going to go into my effects, and I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. So once I've got that set up nicely, I'll just accept that. Now I'm going to do the same to the other one. So I'm just going to pause this, and I'll do this, and then I'll turn it on again, just the same as you would. So I'm just going to put this on pause for a minute. Okay, I've... Uh, did a bevel emboss on all my layers. I'm going to now just turn this guy off. I don't need him anymore, I don't think. So I have my other shapes and layers that I'm quite happy with. Um, if I want to keep these, if I want to move them around, I think what I'm going to do is basically merge these layers. So now they're just one object, and so now I can set this up. So I'm just going to set this up here I'm quite happy with what this looks like so now I'm just going to draw myself a, uh, a, a sort of a border so I'll just change this to a rectangle and I'm just going to just just go across here like this and I'm going to uh, try to select that darker green again I think And I like to do that bevel and emboss effect on this thing. Whoops. That kind of gives it a bit of a nice little effect here so now I'm going to create some text um, again I'll try to get a dark green text here I think click on my text tool I'll just try to get it to go in about this area here and uh, just, you know, again I'm just checking out my fonts to see what I have here so this is uh, C design C design and it's it's a little bit bold which is fine um, try to get a little bit larger 
So I'm 72 is the long I last font size, but I can. I'll just uh, accept this and Control T is transform. So I should be able to scale this. I can just scale this out to fit just. So I'll just put that in there, C design. And now again, I'll just go into my effects and maybe do my bevel and just bring this up a little bit, give it a bit of thickness. And maybe I'll just add some drop shadow to it as well, just to give it a little bit more depth. So I've got a pretty good looking little design here. I'm just going to go back to my background layer here, and I think I'm going to add a layer. And in this layer here, I think I'll just, just change this back to black and white. Go into my gradient, and I'm just going to do a gradient across this. Maybe the other way. And there's my uh, logo. Now, again, you can do different colors. There's lots of different options that you can have working with this. So um, what I would do now is save my file and also file save. I set it up as a logo, so I'll save that. And then I'm going to go file save as and I'm going to save this as a JPEG this time and just the resolution I'm happy with so again when I bring this into um, PowerPoint we can play a little bit with it I've left everything here so if I wanted to have this like this I could also save this so that I just have this part of it. Uh, in this case here, I'll go File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a PNG file. And you'll see later on that if you save it as a PNG, what will happen is it will come in with just letters with no background. Well, enjoy, have fun, and uh, we'll see your results. Thank you.